You know, originally I was going to call my new Moe's build, I was going to call her Sea World Moe's. Because she uses the flipper and she does a lot of splash damage. <laughs> Graham, if you don't mind, can I ask you a question? We were we were looking through our missions. I've got the mission to kill Red Jabber, and I'm just wondering. I know you guys didn't list specifics in the, uh, the patch notes, but named enemies like Red Jabber and Shiv were anything, was anything moved to those bosses? I know you don't want to like give specifics and I'm cool with that because I love going and finding out these things, but I'm just curious if uh, things were moved to these named enemies that didn't have a drop. Yes, bosses that already respawned were not included in the notes, but loot was moved to these bosses as well. I love you, Graham. Graham. I'm going to pick up this camera and I'm going to kiss you and I hope that's okay. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Gearbox. I am, I'm even more pumped now than I was and I was already crazy pumped. Okay, six. So it seemed like you'd go back to controller. What changed your mind? Okay, so funny thing happened after I made the finale of the Moe's playthrough, I went back on Borderlands 3 and I was farming some stuff and just messing around and I realized that I didn't even pick up the controller. I was just using the mouse and keyboard and I just kept on doing it and I'm still just doing it. Hey, there we go. There's my Ripper. All right, Ripper drop confirmed. And allegedly he's gonna have a second drop, which would be Moxie's bouncing pair. We're not gonna sit here and farm for the bouncing pair. I'm just gonna assume that my chat is telling me the truth because multiple people in chat have already gotten the bouncing pair from him as well. Oh, legendary in the machine, did you guys see it? Hey, I love it. I love the, whoa, <laughs> two legendaries in the machine. Dude, I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited for all this new stuff. There's a Skagzilla car. Oh, I just did a 360. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> I, guess, <laughs> I guess I taught him a lesson. Oh, look. So legendaries can also be not the item of the day. So check your machines, guys. Oh, class mods? Legendary class. Oh my goodness gracious, dudes. <laughs> All right, so that was mincemeat, right? The, the psycho, and he dropped. What did he drop? A Tunguska. All right, now we got Butt Munch. Butt Munch dropped Barrage. So we set it on Mayhem Zero. We should be able to see the actual dedicated drops. If I turn it off, I guess we would see as well, right? We'll just turn it off and see what we get. Truffle Munch. All right, Truffle Munch, what you got? A bear cat. Truffle Munch, bear cat. Yeah, I've turned Mayhem mode off just so we can see the drops a little more easily. All right, what'd you drop? Uh, that is a storm. Red Jabber just dropped me a storm. Oh my God, is Randy here? Yeah, he is here. Oh my God, Randy, what is, what's going on, man? Stop by to say hi, dude. What's up, man? I've met you in person several times. Your wife is absolutely just the the most amazing woman. Uh, it's been my pleasure to meet you guys. You were watching the Xbox show on Twitch and thought you'd drop in. Well, I appreciate that, dude. It's been an absolute honor to meet you a couple times that I have got to meet you. Whoa. That dude just went flying. <laughs> got a shocking AAA that time. All right. This is interesting. Same to you. Well, thank you, Randy. That's very nice of you to say. Right now, Randy, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out who drops what since everything got moved around in a good way. So we're just trying to make sure that we know who drops what now. You know what I mean? We're doing a little little field research, if you will. This game, uh, people often ask me which is my favorite Borderlands game, and this is it. And a lot of people are like, oh, I'm surprised it's not Borderlands 2. I was like, well, it was. Borderlands 3 has gotten so damn good. The last patch was amazing. And this patch... This patch is shaping up to be just as good in a lot of ways, if not better in some ways. Uh, having loot pools spread out is huge for this game. That's another storm, isn't it? All right, so storm is confirmed from Red Jabber. Cannot wait to see what you think about what's coming, dude. I, I cannot wait. Got some big plans even beyond the season pass stuff. We're going to be ready to start sharing soon. Oh my God. Guys, you heard the scoop here first. There's more beyond the season pass. You heard it here first, chat. Hey, Randy, can I implore you for one thing? Can we get a Headhunter pack style DLC, like a little miniature DLC kind of thing, like a Headhunter style, like we have from Borderlands 2, that features the Tront family? The Tront family is so beloved in this community, and I, I've often joked that we need like a Cousin Eddie Tront. <laughs> a Cousin Eddie Tront and a Grandma Tront. You know what I mean? 
And it's just, it would just be wild and crazy and hilarious. You love that? Write it down, dude. <laughs> you can have it free of charge. I, I want nothing That's in return other than to play that because that would be hilariously awesome. And more Torg, more uh, more B team, more Tiny Tina, Mordecai and Brick. The interaction between those three is just so damn good. Go bring that up, my man. I love this community. Dude, I love everything right now. Like right now at this moment with Randy in my chat, Graham stopped by earlier, Noel is here. I'm like, I'm goosebumped. I got goosebumps on top of my goosebumps, and I'm just loving everything. <laughs> I'm just loving and pizza, and I've got pizza sitting over here. A damn good day. This is one thing that I would like to suggest if you, you know, if you're open to suggestions like that. Modifiers, they're kind of cool at times, but at the same time, I would love an option where I can either manually choose each individual modifier, or I could just have the option to turn them off. I think that would be fun. Yeah, you guys talked about that. Game development is hard, I'm sure. How's it going? It's going exceptional, dude. I've got the main man from uh, Gearbox in my chat. It can't get much better for me. He's in here and he's talking and listening to us and communicating with us. How many other uh, game devs do that, dude? How many other game devs do that? He says, okay, let's see how your build does. All right, you ready? Don't nerf it. You promise you won't nerf me if I destroy him? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I guess it was all right. Zero to dead in four seconds. <laughs> Mechanics. <laughs> hey man, this is, this is utilizing knowledge of the game mechanics. That's what it's all about. It's utilizing the splash damage in a smart way. It's utilizing uh, the build in the smart way. It's utilizing class mod in the smart way. So everything works in tandem to do that kind of damage. So at the at this stages of the game, this is evidence of the design working. Exactly, exactly. And here's the beauty of it, Randy, is I can use almost any gun in the game on any character and have fun. And that's a good sign. If you master build plus gear and farm enough, you can get this effing powerful. Exactly, dude. It's always the goal to have as many ways to find the fun as possible. I love it. Uh, we always feel like we can do better there. That's why we uh, have to buff some things. And sometimes we have to nerf things. People rage, but it's about finding the balance uh, with a game with so many possibilities. It takes zillions of hours of real world play to find it. Yeah, it's true. So this is only, was this like my seventh day of using mouse and keyboard? We're getting there, chat. We're getting there. Wow, oh my god, that was a pinata, dude. Dropped a Rowan's Call 300 over 90. He dropped, um... Oh, snap! Okay, did you guys see that? We got a serve boss execute. Previously, that was only from Trant at Desolation, right? All right, there's a companion and a flacker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come, oh, there he went. <laughs> oh, there he went. He, he, he's dead. <laughs> he just yeeted himself on the map, dude. He's like, nah, I see Iron Bear. I'm out. All right. Yeah, I got a bear trooper as well, dude. I got two bear troopers on that run. Okay, so legendary mode. Yeah, if you got some extra iridium laying around, that's what you can do, chat. You too can have lots of legendaries laying all over the place. All right, and then uh, look, we got Moxie's Embrace. Got the two time, got the Gettle Burger, Mr. Caffeine Shield, Hanging Chad. All right, so here's my recommendation. When you beat the story, when you're doing a new character and you beat the story, step one, activate the Mayhem Machine. Step two, set it to Mayhem 10. Step three, take your gun gun and spend some Iridium to shoot out some legendaries because then you'll have Mayhem 10 legendaries that you can go and start your farming with to make Mayhem not such a slog once you start it up. That's the way to do it, dudes. Yeah, some things can't spawn with anointments. Some uh, some mission items never have anointments, so they can't spawn with anointments. Dude, I love that they made enemies respawn, man. That's kind of dope. All right, Preston on run number one dropped me two things, a lead sprinkler and a bounty hunter class mod. Use the fish right, this time he dropped a Krakatoa and a Bounty Hunter. And Nitrian Auto Idol. Scorpio. Okay, so that was the other thing that somebody else had said that he was dropping now. Another Bounty Hunter. All right, Bounty Hunter is confirmed. Should we go to Kilovolt and see how the drop rates are? That would be fun for Zane. I watched the item of the day be sold out. 
No, it's not. Yay. That was only 25 iridium for that, too, by the way. All right. How about a monarch, dude? And there's a monarch. Second run. Second run, we get a monarch. This farm is dramatically easier now. I love it. I love it. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Have a great Thanks night.